Welcome back to Iceland. I am in the middle of a lava field. Iceland is by far my favorite country, the number one for motorcycle enduro riding in the world. Welcome back to the next part in the series. Let's get going. It's a terrifying morning today because there are four of us. Ah! We're in a hotel for two nights, which has been quite comfortable after a very, very long day yesterday. Today, we're gonna to be doing a slightly shorter day because it's day three and energies may be a little bit lower and also a massive rainstorm is due to be coming in this afternoon. So hopefully we're gonna catch some of the nice weather this morning and stay a little bit less wet. Day three, let's go. I think we might have spoken too soon about getting out early before the weather hit. It's at The smell of sulfur in the air. So this is a really hot area in Iceland. About 30 years ago, there was a big volcanic eruption. There's a power plant there. You can see in the background all of the steam. There's a lot of thermal heat in Iceland. And this is a volcanic crater crapla, which is a lovely name. Uh, if you saw my New Zealand video, you'll know that names that have two words in them make me usual. to imagine that something so calm and peaceful could be a volcano. riding on is just so exciting because you got to really look where you're going this is a trip for people who love to ride enduro but want epic landscapes and Iceland for the conspiracy theory hooligans am i on the moon where we landed dun, dun, dun. so this is just a sea of black volcanic ash and sand it's like heavenly epic riding terrain you've got jagged mountains mossy stuff volcanoes you kind of go around every corner in iceland and you go wow because it's just so beautiful Sigh. <sighs>
Okay, so here is lava. This was once hot and running, flowing, and it's just stopped right at the edge here. And behind us is a massive sea of a lava field, which we are about to ride through. This is the sort of thing you can't not get anywhere else in the world. Iceland, baby. Everyone motorbikes, says Attica. blueberries. Okay, I'll pick you some too. There's loads here, look. I do very well. I am a trained by a Viking forager. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. They're delicious. Oh wow. Mm. pulled over on the side of the road because there's loads of little Icelandic horses and they're so cute and fluffy. I was hoping they might come over and say hello to me but they are too busy enjoying the luscious grass but they're adorable. Last time I was in Iceland I actually managed to go riding on the Icelandic horses and in my other video that I'm doing during this Iceland trip there is a whole load of things that you must know about Iceland before you come here, things to do. So check out that video because horses feature in it twice. The bugs are still in force. The bugs are still here on day three. The trip is about to get turbo exciting. What have you got there, Annika? Towels. Towels? What do you do in Iceland? That means no motorbike kit and towels. And a fire engine. You just drink strip. Welcome. <laughs> She's coming in. Boss Viking. Where are we going, Boss Viking? We are going to the bath. Okay, other Viking. Where are we going? <laughs> to the great bath. To the to the great bath. So they are Vikings bath. of many words today. <laughs> you have more words. Yeah, it's, it's thermal bath. It's like it's called the Earth bath. Earth bath. Let's go. Fire truck ride. So this ha place has a t-shirt that pretty much translates Vikings. It's amazing. Here we are. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera away, but you can imagine what is about to happen. That was unreal after three days of riding. <laughs> Hair's going everywhere. My body feels super relaxed. Okay, my hair's everywhere. That is worth doing if you're in Iceland. It's morning of day four here in Iceland with Ride With Locals. Now, depending on what trip you choose with Ride With Locals, there's different accommodation setups and options. And the one that I'm on, which is their new big off-road six day, there is a mixture of mountain huts and hotels. So I showed you the mountain hut the other day. This is the hotel. And yes, that is a Vanessa bomb. It's pretty standard in hotels or actually any places Vanessa goes. But what I really want to show you is the view out the window. And those little tufts here is where a historical volcano has gone off. This was a marsh waterland. The heat of the Labna Marga going down through the water 
then caused mass turbo evaporation of the water and some magical science stuff. If you know the science behind it, let me know in the comments, but something to do with the water and the lava that's made those ships. I'm getting kitted up, Annika's cleaning her teeth, and then we are gonna have some breakfast and head out into... It's some pretty unreal riding. There's a lot of rock and up and down and corners. So Annika and who can da -da, got a little bit of arm pump going. We are in the most paradise kind of spot though to sit and have a rest. We've got lava in every direction. And then the gorgeous famous mountain up ahead. Iceland baby. We made it! What did you say? We made it! Day four! Boom! How was that puddle for you? <laughs> that got you by surprise. That was so good. It was like, whoa! Running video. <sighs> We're running. It's definitely less effort on a motorbike right now. But this is beautiful. So we're running towards hell, apparently. He's inspired me with great confidence because the volcano is also likely to erupt soon. We're now at the bottom of where I was just a second ago. Uh, if I could transfer smell via video you'd be smelling rotten eggs and cabbage mixed together with a fart <laughs> sulfury now this lake is actually about 29 degrees we just had a debate about whether we should take our kid off and go in but it's warming up they're monitoring it a lot because the heat of the land mass underneath is massively increasing as is temperature of this lake but it means that you can see lots of little bubbles and stuff as gases build they can just blobble up at any point which means you could be in there happy as can be and suddenly like a 60 100 degree bubble comes up you ain't gonna be smiling for long you'd be a cooked chicken so we're just gonna look at it i'm on care i'm running but this is steam coming out of a hole it's kind of like top of a teapot that's what biking describes it as that is boiling hot <laughs> apparently this whole area is an active volcano and this is a crater that has not that long ago erupted. 
He tells me this after I've run multiple K to come into the crater. But I guess if it goes off, he's going to die too. So it's not like it's a trap. No. <laughs> Freaking Vikings. <laughs> So having, having just said it would be a bad idea to go in the water, Viking is like, let's go in the water. So we're going in the water. This is not very hot. Good morning, Viking. Good morning. What have you got there? My speciality. Yeah? School speciality. What is Tortillas it? Tortillas with cheese and ham and some stuff in the morning. Some stuff? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Mmm, mmm, look at that cheese. Ah. Here's the riding fuel right have here. The picture. They, they don't know. Schooly specialty. And it's beige, which means little Miss Beige likes it like even more. Oh, the cheese, no, no. goodness. Vikings pre-warned us today that we were going to have about 36 miles of just sand and they are not disappointing so sorry for the engine noises. I'm on a motorbike trip but at the moment I'm in the middle of this volcanic mass which I've said a few times in, in the last few days but this one's actually special because there's a volcano up in the background behind me that erupted really terrifyingly recently. 2014 and 1.8 square kilometers worth of came out of the volcano and this became just a sea of hardened magna and lava and whatever the volcanic stone is called. It was completely impassable for quite a long time but the massive area of sand has over the years blown over and kind of filled it in giving you this very aggressive black sandy area because there's a lot of hard lava sticking out. Now we're in a group of 11 bikes. We've unfortunately just had our second biker go down from a crash. I remember relatively early on when I started doing motorbike trips overseas and someone quite experienced said to me, on these trips, only ever ride at like 60, 70% max of your riding capability because you've traveled all the way there. You're seeing all these amazing scenes and having a crash can be game over. So unfortunately, Pado has just done his shoulder doing an over the handlebars into Viking strength lava rocks. Um, it seems like he's going to be okay, but the rider local guys are loading the third bike 
into the Jeep support truck and then we'll hopefully carry on and fingers crossed this all not too bad. But I guess the lesson is how quickly things can go wrong. But wow. <laughs> you did. You definitely did. <laughs> good we've used another SD card I just keep hitting record and then I don't want to turn it off because it's just like wow good job got loads of SD cards okay so we just went across like a rivery area where Viking briefed us in advance that we're not allowed to stop we can't take pictures because it flash floods every day and I read a sign yesterday so the coldest and the hottest area of Iceland are right next to each other there's a glacier and underneath it there's a massive tectonic kind of lava crater thing and most days it erupts that puts out a whole load of heat melts a lump of the glacier in a short period of time and then it floods down that riverbed so we couldn't stop because if you get trapped into a tidal wave it would be pretty bad but behind us you can just see the scene of aggressive iceland is just aggressive and mind blown but we didn't die the wave didn't come when we were there A big crater. We're on the edge of a huge crater. Now, my science isn't hot, but it's along the lines of there was a lava volcanic chamber here, which has erupted, and then the roof of it caves in and makes a huge hole. Best country in the world. I love Iceland. volcanic explosion it's melted some of the glacier it's now coming down the river and we might die if we don't leave this scene real soon ah! 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 they're not panicking they should be panicking panic panic i'm panicking look at it flowing Andy, run. i can't believe how quickly that river is filling up is the viking scared no okay we're all right stop panicking Houston, we got a problem. Do you see what we did there? We've been like being on the moon and space, and then I said, uh, yeah, anyway, there's another flat tire. I think this is a six flat tire. So, Mr. Schooley, riding vocals, 90% of the bikes are on mooses. Mooses! But I'm actually saying that, blown away by how well these tires are lasting. So, come see my bike. I'm on the Michelin Trackers here. Ba -ba -dum! And considering how aggressive the rock is here, it's wearing really well. Uh, huge confidence in the sand, in the rocks, on the hard stuff. Felt pretty all right on the road, on the tiny bit of road sections we've done. I think Mr. Schooley of Ride of Locals has picked a good tyre for the job. He just needs to get rid of the 
the one bike that has tubes. that we did the other day, but there's a lot more water in it today. Okay, so we're going for the walk across. Oh shit, that bit's deep. That's a good way up for me. <laughs> That's horrible. That's brutal. Vikings. Oh, cool. To the last night of riding with locals. So we've made it to our mountain hut, all snugly and warm in there. And this one is like, should we go for a walk? I think it's a great idea. Look at so. this beautiful <laughs> evening. We've got some water. Yours is water. She's tricking me. Mine's wine. It's a trick. Anyway, put on all of our kit. So I'm a revolution race head to toe bunny. It's so warm and cozy. I love their kit. Made in Sweden for proper Swedish winters. And like this black one I've got underneath is the warmest coat I've ever owned. Wind break on the top. We've got our action pants on. Woohoo! So she was meant to be going back to Australia, but ended up coming here because poor seats got sick. So she's basically dressed as a, as a mini Vanessa. You might recognize all of her clothes. She has her own underwear on, just in case you were wondering. But we're going to go for a walk this way. When you're in Iceland, you make the most of it. So, I don't know if you can hear us because it's really windy. But we're on top of the hill next to... The hill It's a bloody mountain. We hiked a mountain. There is where we're staying. There is where we're staying. That's the mountain cabin. Over here, there's actually a runway. But we have made it to a gremlin. Money fell over. Anyway, we're gonna sit and watch the sun go down, which is gonna go down a little while. But that whole thing over there is a glacier. That's not cloud, that's a glacier. Freaking Iceland, baby. It is the final morning. Goose got to my bike and it is magically refueled. The power of the Vikings, so the support thing right there. The fire engine has a big fuel tank on it because in places like this, there is not a petrol station. Annika is stashing protein bars into who into her bag. She's trying to do it secretively so that I don't know she's got it because then I'm, I won't want to eat it. But I know that you've got it because I just caught you. This is why I've stashed multiple. Uh, she's got to keep the Vanessa. Vanessa stash and then another secret stash that she doesn't know where it is. So when she eats all the other ones that she thinks she knows where they are. She's totally making sense to someone in the world. Yeah, so with the with these guys, you get your food included in the trip, and that includes yummy snacks and little sandwiches and stuff to have for lunch. So we're about to saddle up. How's everyone doing, team? Woo! We've got some fly nets going. The flies are coming out because the wind has just stopped. Day six, baby. Whoop, whoop. Final day, baby. I'm sad. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Woo! We've just been ha 
hammering it along a trail. That was absolutely, absolutely sick. So we just pulled off. So I'm waiting for the, the back of the group to catch up. But you've got a massive glacier right there. We're going up here to some kind of Jesus cross. The sun is shining. This is amazing. I think they're quite a long way behind because uh, we were going a good pace. It's good rally training to be fair. There's a lot of uh, a lot of riding on these trips. Really good for the fitness and everything. I hear an engine. Yay! Good way. So Vanessa has an evil plan. We need to do it right now then, come on. Go, go, hide. Come on, Simon, you can do this. I'm stuck. You can do this. I'm stuck. Can you explain what we're doing? So the Vikings have gone to find the track that we're meant to be going on and so we're all hiding behind the rock so that when they come back there's just no humans. We are hiding behind the rocks. Our bikes are a little giveaway over there but we're ninja hidden. We still sat there up on the rock. I love that we've all got our helmets on too. <laughs> he was totally looking this way. I think he knows where we are. Hey! How did he find us? <laughs> the Viking is a good hunter. Lunch stop. Oh yeah. It's sandwich time. Vanessa made us some awesome sandwiches today. Except that's not it. Where's my lunch? Heating up. We got cheese toasties. Oh. So, they are getting warm. I think maybe we should have ridden along with them in there, but, oh, that one's warm. You're a genius. That one's warmed up a bit. Might be one of my favourite lunch stops this week. We've got a big lake. We're in the gorgeous deep sand. It's been amazing riding. And then there's this kind of washed out old cabin that's sort of covered in sand. Final day blues are starting to kick in though. I'm going to miss Iceland. I'm confident I'll be back. Seven bikes, six days, absolutely epic riding here in Iceland. We're back at Ride of Locals HQ. We're going to hand the bikes back over. That is how you do Iceland. Let me know if you've got any questions about riding Iceland in the comments or any other thoughts or places you recommend I go ride. I've been Esther Rock the Girl on a Bike. What an amazing adventure.